This is going to be a cook tutorial on the setup I used to cook through the wall in the Koala Kong fight. First step is to walk forward until Crash is standing on this rock. Once he's on it, alternate walking to the left of the rock and to the right of the rock. I recommend doing this with D-pad to make sure you're only inputting left and right, no slight diagonals. Doing this will nudge Crash backwards a bit each time until he's aligned perfectly behind the rock. This ensures you are always the exact same distance away from Koala. Try not to walk too far forward onto the rock before doing this, or it may not work as intended. Once you are aligned, walk directly right until you're against the right wall, and wait there until Koala has picked up a big boulder and starts moving left. This is where you'll want to switch your game to 30fps if you're playing on PC. You can only do this via the in-game menu. Any other way of changing the FPS is not allowed. Make sure the VSync option is not enabled, otherwise the game will not allow you to switch it to 30fps. When Koala starts moving left, do not immediately start moving left with him. Doing this will put you too far left if he decides to throw the boulder right away, which nearly happens here. Wait for him to step to the side three or four times before you start following him. You want to stay roughly in front of him as he moves. I do this by tapping left on the d-pad repeatedly and trying to move at the same speed he does. I sometimes find staying directly in front of him doesn't always work though, so I also put a bit more thought into my positioning relative to Koala. While he is still to the right of center, I try to stay just slightly to the right of him rather than directly in front of him. As he's approaching the center, then I'll stand directly in front of him. Once he passes the center, I try to stand slightly to the left of him. Right when Koala starts his throwing animation, I stop moving left and immediately focus entirely on Koala's left hand, or from our perspective, right hand. Whatever you want to call it, it's this hand. First, Koala will lift the boulder up and before he throws it, he sits fairly still for a moment with his hand resting on top of the boulder. The moment I see movement from that hand, I react and push forward and jump at the same time. Different reaction times might mean you need a slightly different cue, but I highly recommend using this hand, since it is so visible as it moves across his entire body. When he throws the boulder, you're going to hold forward and jump, and do not let go of either of them. The moment Crash takes damage, switch from holding forward to holding backward, but do not release jump yet. I prefer to do this with analog, but most people seem to prefer d-pad. This should clip Crash through the wall. Once you've done all this, you should be on the other side of the invisible wall. You can damage Koala directly now. Touching him while Crash is flashing and has iframes will deal 1 damage. Bouncing on his head will also do 1 damage, but spinning him will do 2 damage for some unknown reason. You can only damage him after he has thrown a boulder, so you want to spin him right when you clip through the wall, and again after he throws a second boulder. If you go too fast to try and hit him with your first spin, you may damage him with iframes and only do one damage. If this happens, there is a way to do three damage to still kill him in two boulder throws. To do this, you can bounce on his head and spin at the exact same time, either by using a minecart or standing directly in front of him and doing a max height jump forward. This can be done fairly consistently with practice, but I definitely suggest just being cautious with your first hit to ensure you get 2 damage. You can also deal 3 damage if you manage to hit him with your iframes and your spin at the same time, though this feels much less consistent. Now all you have to do is make sure you switched back to 60fps if you're on PC. For style points, you can ride away on the minecart with Koala. I highly recommend it. I hope this was helpful and not too long. Please give me feedback on what was good or bad about this tutorial. I want to get better at this and make more resources for anyone who wants to run this game. Thanks, see ya, and good luck.